Hello again, and welcome back to Educator.com's Introduction to PHP course. In today's lesson, we're going to be introducing a bunch of new operators. Uh, in particular, we're going to be introducing a group of operators known as the logical operators, and we're also going to be introducing what's known as the ternary operator. So as mentioned, we're going to be um, talking about uh, a number of different operators that fall under the class of logical operators, uh, which basically allow you to create sort of complex uh, Boolean test conditions, which are often used in um, if statements and, and so forth. Uh, we're going to talk about how a couple of the operators, logical operators, are known as short circuit operators. We're going to explain what that means. And then finally, we're going to end up uh, by talking about um, the ternary operator, uh, which is a, a special operator in PHP. Um, so as mentioned, logical operators are basically used to create complex Boolean expressions, um, and they operate on Boolean values. Uh, the ones that are provided by PHP are the uh, not operator, the or operator, the and operator, and the xor operator. And basically what uh, they do is, for example, the not operator is a unary operator, and what that does is that return a, whatever Boolean value it acts on, it returns the opposite. So if the Boolean value is true, if you prepend um, the not operator, which is a uh, exclamation point, uh, to a Boolean value, it's going to return the opposite. So if you prepend it to true, it's going to return false. If you uh, prepend it to false, it's going to return true. Um, then there's also the uh, there's a binary operator known as the OR operator, and it actually has two forms. Uh, it can be used with two uh, vertical bars, which are the same key on the keyboard as the backslash, um, typically. And then there's also uh, the operator, which is the OR keyword. Uh, now, these are, this is, again, is a binary operator. And what it does is it returns true if either it's left or right operand or true. So it operates on two Boolean values. So the only case it returns false is if both of its values, uh, both of its operands are false. And is sort of the kind of the uh, the converse of the or operation, uh, and it ha also has two um, ways to specify that: uh, double ampersands, and then also by the and keyword. And it's a binary operator that returns true only if both its left and its right operand are true. So if if they're not both true, every other condition it returns false. Uh, finally, there's the xor operator, um, which is known as the exclusive or operator. And this is how it's specified in your code. Um, and it's a binary operator that's similar to the OR operator. It returns true if either one of its um, operands are, are true, but not if they're both true. So it's an exclusive word. It can only be one or the other. 